What's happening, y'all? Look, we got another hot take, okay? And uh, so I saw a post today, right, that uh, basically talked about how some wholesalers went out of business after implementing novations, okay? So I want to address this because I think this is valid. And this is by no means uh, like shade on the post, right? So it was, uh, it was actually Robert Wensley's post, and he's the uh, CEO of InvestorLift. Dope ass company that helps you uh, sell your deals off market, right? So I get it, right? He's an off market guy. And he was talking about basically, here's the gist of the post. He said last uh, Q4 of last year, there was a lot of people that tried doing novations and ended up going out of business, right? And I know exactly why this happened. I can explain it. Right, I'll kind of go over this and explain it. Why this happened, okay? So a few things, okay? The reason novations don't work is one, you have a conversion problem and that's where people first start out. They try to do it the right way and they have a conversion problem because there's a lot of not so good sales advice out there of like pitching it as a, damn, this light's bright as fuck too, one second. Pitching it as an option. Some of the pitches are pretty clunky. They're pretty clunky and they're pretty long. And I have a lot of people that are in, coming to my program that have been in other programs because the pitch sucks, right? So what ends up happening is the pitch sucks and people are like, fuck this. I'm just gonna say that I'm buying the house, right? They'll do that and then they'll bury it in the contract. That's like the first shortcut to get it under contract, okay? And then the second uh, shortcut that they do is then they list it on the flat fee, right? And this is where you hear people have, oh, I've got 30 deals on the board. I've got 40 deals on the board. I've got 50 deals on the board, right? There was a bunch of people at the end of last year that were talking about how many deals, how many novation deals they had. And this is what was going on. They were locking up hella deals and then they're trying to sell them on the flat fee and shit was not working out, right? And they had a lot of deals go up and a lot of deals go down, baby. Because the flat fee sucks, it really sucks. Um, one, you're throwing spaghetti at the wall, so it's, it's very irresponsible. But it's, it's the shortcut, right? And people say, oh, well, why pay a realtor? Why do all that, right? I'm just gonna throw it on the flat feet. I've got a dispo guy. They're good at what they do. We're gonna pull this off. And then they found out it's actually a lot harder than they thought it was. And then you start getting in trouble with a couple deals. You start having some retail agents start questioning what you're doing. Um, you have deals fall through and the sellers are pissed off. You have sellers finding out, oh, why is my house on the market? Oh, that's the... That's a pre-marketing clause. It's in the contract. Didn't you read the contract? And then the people are pissed off. And then eventually people are like, man, novations suck, dude. They suck, bro. They're freaking too hard, right? And so it is true. Uh, uh, people, they did crash and burn because they tried pulling it off. But this is the problem. They either followed bad advice or they thought that they figured out a better way. Okay, and it's funny because all the things that they were doing and preaching were things that I already did. <laughs> I already did. And I learned it the hard way already. And then I tried to tell everybody, oh man, no, I'm telling you, don't do it that way. And they were doing all the things. They were signing for the seller because they're like, oh, well, I don't want them finding out how much I'm making. And then they were listening on the flat fee because they didn't want to pay the realtors or they didn't want to go through the trouble of learning how to talk to the realtors. So they actually want to work with you. And don't think that, you know, you're like a loser wholesaler, right? Because that's what, you know, a lot of realtors think because a lot of wholesalers are liars. And the interaction they have with wholesalers is people wasting their time, sending them crappy deals, people texting them all the time. Send me your deals. I'm a cash buyer. Oh, send me your deals, right? And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, you're not a cash buyer. You're a freaking wholesaler. So there's already a negative connotation because of everything else that's going on. So this is what happened to a lot of people. They took the most expensive training program because they thought it was going to be the best. And they found out it only works if you're working with people at low price points. Okay, guys, this is it. People with an eighty hundred thousand dollar house, hundred fifty thousand dollar house, they're freaking. They're easy to sell, guys. It's not because you're so good. It's because they're so easy. It's easy, bro. Anybody can do it. It's not hard. So you're doing this crappy sales pitch, and it's working on these low level houses. But you could literally say, sell it. You could say it, almost anything. And they'll say yes to you, right? Especially if you're offering them too much money, okay? So you, you think it's you and your pitch is so dope, but it's actually, dude, you're, you're dealing with a low-level house. And that's why you'll see these people, 
they're, they're not dealing with $500,000 houses, million dollar houses, because they the shit that they do, those people see right through, right? It's not sophisticated enough and they're not actually solving a problem. So the reason people went out of business is their pitch sucked and they couldn't convert. And then they switched to a scummy pitch where they lied and then they started getting the conversions, but then they started running into problems, right? Because obviously if they don't know you're reselling the house and they don't know what's going on the MLS, even if it's buried in the contract, it's kind of hard to get them to like cooperate with a bunch of showings. It's kind of hard like to do all the things that you need to do. Like you can't, you can't do it behind their back guys. It's not going to work. I'm telling you, you can pull it off here and there, right? But it's not a scalable model. And that was one of the things that the post said too, right? That novations aren't scalable. And they're tr it's true, they're not scalable unless you do it correctly, okay? You have to do it correctly. Like we're doing 10 to 15 deals right now on a consistent basis with just a couple guys, right? I've got a unique model because everybody's sending me JV deals. But here's the thing, look, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, novations aren't easy. And it's probably more work than most wholesalers want to do. So if you like wholesaling, you're making a bunch of money wholesaling, send us your deals. We'll do all the hard work because we actually take the time and energy like, dude, we put a lot into figuring out this process. Novationjv.com, we'll do your deals. Like you don't have to learn all this stuff and I I'm done with the course thing, right? You you People can still sign up for the course, but like I'm raising the price where it's gonna be so high that you just have to be super serious to get into it. Because everybody that's not serious, we're just gonna do deals with you. We'll do deals with you. We'll handle all the hard work. You don't have to worry about it. You can take the easy ones and we'll do all the hard stuff because I don't wanna promote this to people that are gonna fuck this up, okay? Um, so, why people went out of business? It's because they didn't know how to convert them. Then they didn't know to t they didn't know how to take all the steps to properly sell them. Uh, you know, they they try to shortcut with the flat fee. They try to use the realtor that their buddy knows uh, because they're the ones that will work with novation deals. Here's the thing, guys: the realtor has nothing to do with novation. Nothing, nothing. You don't need someone that's that plays in the gray area to do this. Okay, you have to know how to position it with them. You're the attorney in fact, the seller's going through a personal situation and they don't wanna be hands-on in the process. The seller's going to sign the buyer's offer, the seller's going to sign closing docs and collect the proceeds. Now, in order for the seller to sign the buyer's offer and see how much you make, guess what? The seller has to be happy. They can't fucking hate you. It's not gonna work. And this was the problem, was everyone's like so afraid, well, what if they find out what I make? What are, you're only scared about that because you're not giving them enough value. You're not, that's why they're pissed. It's because you're telling them one thing and you're doing something else and then you're not giving them value in between that. So they feel scammed and you know it and that's why you're scared for them to sign the freaking offer, dude. So it's an easy fix, it's an easy fix. Look, for most people, novations are gonna be too hard. It's gonna be too complicated. It's gonna to take too much. There's gonna be a lot of times where you do have to give the seller some money to move. You're gonna to have to clean up the house some. You're gonna to have to do some things where, you know, you're gonna to have to spend a couple thousand dollars here and then a couple thousand here and there multiplied by 10, 15, 20 deals is five figures, right? And if you don't got it like that, it's cool. But I'm just saying to pull this off, you need to. You need to. It's not the same as flipping an as-is vacant house. Okay, there's more responsibility. There's more pressure. There's more things involved with that. And for a lot of people, it's a mountain they don't want to climb. And that's cool. It's cool. Yes, you can make a lot of money with novations, but it's not going to happen right away. Okay. Even with the full blueprint, there's going to be some things that you have to figure out. And here's, here's the thing. Okay. Uh, you have to have a, an attitude of excellence. That's the only way you're going to get these deals done. And for a lot of people, it's gonna make a lot more sense. If you're already really good at getting wholesale deals, it's gonna make more sense to stick to what you're already good at and making money rather than flipping the whole script. Because you're, if you don't follow the blueprint step by step, I'm telling you, it's not gonna work. It's not going to work. Unless you're dealing with low price point houses, 
you're, you're not going to be making the type of money that you think you're going to make with these, right? Unless you follow the blueprint and you really skill up and you get really good at serving the sellers because that's the big part of it. The hands-off white glove experience, the five-star service. That's what you need to make $100,000 and not have them freak out. That's it. So, NovationJV.com, I would love to work with you. My goal is to get us to 100 deals a month, okay? And we give you 40% of the deal just for sending it in hot and ready, okay? Don't send us your raw dog leads. We don't want them. If there's not detailed notes and it's not fitting our criteria, I'm sorry, we're not lead managers and we're not commission acquisition agents. We're here to do Novation deals. So it either has to be at our criteria or it has to be near our criteria, okay? And if you've got something that's there, you have to do the work to get up to your 40%. Because once you give it to us, we're pretty much doing everything. I'm gonna be spending the money, I'm gonna be pulling all of it off, right? And we're gonna find the realtors, we're gonna make the tough decisions, we're gonna draw from all of our experience. But um, like, don't just start sending us leads that aren't qualified, that don't fit the criteria. But if it does fit the criteria, I'm telling you, your lead could not be in better hands than me and my team. Like, we're killing these left and right. And I'm gonna start posting more case studies, right? Because for a minute, I'm like, uh, I don't wanna keep posting this because whatever, everybody's doing deals, no one cares. But then I started realizing, like, what's normal for us, for most people, like, they're blown away by it. So I'm gonna do, do some more case studies. I'm gonna be building up the YouTube. I'm gonna be doing some more success stories. Uh, Cause yo, so check this out. I was just on a conversation with a gentleman. Uh, he was in another Novation group. I won't say the name of the group. You guys probably know it's the most expensive one. It's like $8,000. And he had been in there for like a year and hadn't done a Novation deal. He just closed on a deal where they made 60 freaking thousand dollars. Okay, and it was his first Novation uh, out of the whole time. He's only been in my group for like two months. So if you follow the blueprint, you can pull it off, but most people aren't going to be willing to put in the work, and most of them don't have the belief to actually follow the process. But cool, man, that's what it is. But yeah, hey look, novations don't compete with wholesale, because the deals that are novations will never work as a wholesale, okay? And the wholesale deals, you can make it a novation, but honestly, you're better off just freaking wholesaling it. It's quick and easy, why wouldn't you? Why would you go through a whole complicated thing? Now, if you can get, excuse me, if you can get significantly more on market, go that route. But like 20% of our deals, we sell off market, dude. Like we get quick money and it's like a $10,000 difference. I'll take 10,000 less right now in two weeks than go through the whole thing. Because here's the, you gotta look at it as this. Every day, you have 100 bandwidth points. You wanna use your points as much as you can to get deals, right? And the more time you're spending getting deals, the better off you are. So if you can sell one for three bandwidth points instead of 20, even if it's less money, it's still the better move because that time that you would spend calling and interviewing all the realtors, uh, putting it on market, talking to the seller, having the longer time frame, you're better off just moving it quick. You're better off, right? So it's not what's better, novation or wholesale. It's just like, hey, look, What's out there right now? When I have a deal that's a wholesale deal, I'm gonna wholesale it, but I'm not gonna just throw away millions of dollars and ignore the nice houses with motivated sellers or the livable houses with motivated sellers. That's dumb, right? But I've also taken years to figure out all the do's and don'ts on this. So if you don't wanna go through all that, and you don't wanna, you know, I know what the course is not even the money, it's the time. It's the time people don't wanna put in. And I get that, and I know that because I mean, there's people that buy the course and I look at it, they don't fucking even open it up. <sighs> Make sense of that to me. You bought the course, you spent your money and you didn't open it up. And it's not, it's not that they're bad or anything. It's just honestly, they're probably making more money just wholesaling and they don't have the bandwidth points to learn the new thing. So for all those people, look, you can be at a 40% net profit margin just sending them to us. Not bad, not bad. Our average spread is like 40, 50,000. So right there, I mean, you're making 15, 20 bands. And that's what a lot of you are making on wholesale deals anyways. And literally you don't have to do any of the work. So novationjv.com, the link's in my bio. 
peep it out. We're getting to 100 deals a month. We're going to make our JV partners millions and millions and millions of dollars this year. I want you to be one of those people that we make a big fat check with. So let's go. Send it in. I'm getting more closers, more people coming on, more people joining joining the squad. So we're going to open up the bandwidth because I'm going hard on YouTube this year. I've got some big partnerships coming up. Got some big events I'm fortunate enough to be speaking at. We're going to blow this thing up. We're going to do it the right way or we're not going to do it at all. I'm just telling you, if you want to go on Novations, you need to learn how to do it the right way or you got to partner with someone that is doing it the right way. Because otherwise, you will fall on your face and you're going to be worse off than if you never even tried it at all. So you either have to go all in on it or just outsource it. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. My wholesale deals, I outsource those. I give those to my boy. He sells them for a flat fee. Why is that? I don't want to go and build a buyer's list. I don't want to sign up for some expensive uh, software. If I can just pay him some money here and there to sell them, and I don't have to deal with it. I would rather do that. Same with the transaction coordination. I don't want to learn all that shit. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to hire an in-house person to do that. It's so cheap to have them do it and take that off my plate. Easy REI closings, links in my bio, just do that. So there's no shame in the game. Look, if you don't want to learn Novations, don't learn it. Just send it to me. Send it to me and my team. We'll get you a big fat check. You won't lose any sleep. You can get back to your grind and doing the wholesale deals and we'll all make a bunch of money. Let's fucking go.